So, you know, we've, uh, Herceptin was a game changer in terms of uh, changing, changing the landscape for treatment of patients with HER2 positive breast cancer. We've done well in this patient population and now we want to see if we can do better. Protizumab has been approved in the metastatic setting and in the neoadjuvant setting, so logically it makes sense to see if we can use in the adjuvant setting to make our results better. Can we do better? Uh, so this clinical trial was uh, started in 2011, a uh, multinational study, more than 500 centers, 4,800 women were randomized one-to-one uh, -to, -one, uh, to either getting chemotherapy plus Herceptin plus pertuzumab versus placebo, pretty much, chemotherapy plus Herceptin plus placebo. Uh, the primary uh, endpoint was invasive disease-free survival. Secondary endpoint was overall survival. And the trial was adequately powered to meet this objective. Uh, the science was good science. Uh, well-run study, well-designed study. Um, initially, around 3,700 women were enrolled where, uh, you know, they enrolled pretty much uh, high-risk disease, node positive or node negative high risk. So when they hit that th around 3,700 women enrolled and then they said, okay, we'll only enroll node positive women with HER2 positive disease. Uh, and again, random decision was performed and of course the data was presented in 2017. Showed that the study met its primary endpoint by a couple of percentage points, statistically significant. Um, the, uh, the benefit was really seen in node positive patients and was also seen in potentially in ERPR negative patients. That's where really, you know, in terms of the subgroup analysis, that's where we saw the most benefit and that's where most probably we're gonna be using this drug. Uh, 